Uh, you will all agree with me that one of the most difficult things to do is to uh, to fundraise. No matter who you are, whether you are a, a, a pastor or a bishop, whether you are a politician or just you know a, a father or a mother in a home, having raised your own children, uh, it always becomes. Um, very hard when you reach out to even the people you have raised and you ask for their support in, in doing something. A lot of very successful people across the world who lived successful lives, pursued successful careers, finally ended up in, in, in senior homes and others were abandoned by their own just because it is difficult to fundraise. It is difficult to marshal people into one cause. It is difficult to humble people into believing in something. And, and sitting here uh, in Africa, in Kenya, and um, having been uh, plunged, divinely so, in a position where I have to depend on donations, on the support from others, to keep going, I'm telling you, it is not a small thing. It is difficult asking for help from people. It is difficult living by faith, trusting God for provision. What if he doesn't answer you? <laughs> what if God says, wait, then what happens? And that is the position I have been in before Rise Up and through Rise Up. And I've sat in front of a camera and wielding a little camera in my hand. I have spoken things with nothing in my hand but just faith, trusting that God would touch people to believe what I was telling them. And we have seen the wonders of heaven through time. God has highly favored us. And through the opposition that is um, within, starting from our very little organization, spanning through uh, uh, government, uh, the government of Kenya, and going through the international community where we had an organized group of people who are out to, to, to actually destroy, to, um, uh, to falsify everything we are trying to do. Going through all that, and yet God in his faithfulness and truthfulness never let us down. I'm so humbled today as I sit before this camera lens to offer my humble testimony to the world that our God is true and that truth will never be subdued. And that when you stand on the side of truth, when you set out to do something, the elements will fight against you. You will go against the grain. It is a humbling experience to have to, to stand and say, through the years, God has been faithful. Through the years, he has provided for me. Through difficult times, I never went hungry and me and my family were blessed because we were standing on the side of God that we looked through nothingness and stretched out hands with expectation <laughs> and something dropped from into our hands from the palms of God and we had substance water to quench our thirst and food to put in our mouth and nourish our souls and nourish our bodies and a garment to put on our back so we never lack. <laughs> and it was the making of God. Praise the Lord for provision. It is truly humbling to have to live in total dependence upon God having no regard from local people, the politicians, 
government officers, the local congregation, they're looking at you and what you're doing and they're nodding their heads and saying, wow, that's good. <laughs> oh, congratulations. Thank you for that. Oh, you helped that woman. Oh, you, we, we saw you help that child. You were a good man. Thank you. Congratulations. But they would never put their hand in their pocket and support you in a meaningful way. And yet God was seated on the throne and substance was flowing from his hands towards you. It is a humbling thing. And this day, I sit here to testify about the truthfulness, about the reality of the power of God. I'm thankful to God for what he has done through Riser, through me, being human and so weak, struggling with so many things, loaded with a lot of burden. And yet God has been so faithful to use me, to reach out to you. I believe all our supporters have been touched. They have been helped because to be touched is to be helped. They have been touched by our ministry. And that's why they follow and they support and they sacrifice for us. I'm really honored. And I will never take anything for granted. Thank you so much, dear friends, for trusting us. Thank you so much. It's not in vain. No, it's not in vain. 